Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing very well. Now in the previous episode we did make quite a bit of money, which was good. We, we did a massive job, a really big contracting job uh, of potatoes in number 12. Now we do still have a number of really well paid jobs here, but they are fairly big. I'm going to do them in the future. We might allow these ones to disappear and get another one in the future, but yeah definitely we are going to make some more money soon. But today we do have Definitely one thing to do, possibly two. Now I have just downloaded the first mod which is not by Giants, it's uh, by somebody called Blur Modding. Um, I don't know if it's a team or just an individual, but even so, it is a Stuart trailer, a flatbed trailer. Now there is actually one by Giants, the Flegel from 17, which was an option for me, but I decided to go with this one um, since I have used the Flegel many times before in 17. It's nice to have it but I want to try out some different stuff. So yeah, what we have is the trailer, it's probably going to be in either the trailer section or bailing technology. Let's just see here. Here it is, Stuart. Stuart trailer, GX15, looks decent. It's to carry wood and bales. We're going to buy it so we don't have to worry about having to lease any more trailers. So I think it's just going to be a really good option for us. And it looks pretty good too. So we do have options to put, I think it's the, um, for the bales, yeah, front ladder. Front and rear ladder. But we don't really need to at this stage. But of course we can configure it in the future. I think for today all we need to do is have nothing. We can also choose the Trelleborg tyres or... Is it communal? Michelin? Lizard? Okay, so uh, these two cost uh, 2,100 pounds extra. I think I'll go with the trailer book. I quite like them. They look good. So we'll buy the trailer outright. <laughs> no more leasing fees. Yes, I don't like leasing fees. Uh, it is just... It's good, but there is no resale value, so it isn't really worth it. So yeah, as you've seen here, we have the case tractor warming up. We're going to put the front loader on it, and we're going to use it to move some more logs onto the trailer so that we can have a big selling session of the trees which are located just over here. We do actually own trees behind fur number 25 as well, but for the time being, we're going to stick with these trees over here. The front loader is still configured to be in the Massey Ferguson Red, which actually doesn't bother me at all. I think it has bothered a few people, I have seen a few messages and comments on the videos, um, but yeah, I reckon it's just a minority. I will change it, if it's free, to put it as the default colour, I will change it, because there's absolutely no point in uh, keeping it the wrong shade of red, although it's very similar, there isn't much in it. So let's put it over here, the stole bell spike might actually be getting in the way here, we'll see. There we go. Yeah, in 17 I always said it would be nice to have a feature to cycle through. So left and right, so if you have multiple things within the trigger, you can just cycle through. But it, it hasn't seemed to have uh, appeared in 19. I guess there could be a mod in the future. Right, so... You have to spam that to work. Default, I think, was this colour here. Yes, that is... that's alright. So it isn't the case red, but it is the default colour. And actually, I've seen many screenshots before with this tractor taking the front loader in this uh, this grey colour, so it looks quite good. Ah, uh, yes. Although, we don't need that, so we need to get a, a log grab. We need to get a log grab from the store, which is probably going to cost about £2,000. Hopefully less, but we'll see. So there we go, the Stuart flatbed trailer. Which we will put some ladders on later for doing bales, but obviously at the moment we don't need to. It's just an expense which can wait. So, yeah, let me just go and find the uh, log grab. 800, nice, much cheaper than I thought. So, we have essentially got, I think we've spent about 11,800. We've got to make back at least 11,800 to profit today. That shouldn't be too difficult. I know that a full trailer. Uh, of the other bale trailer, this one here, this one, uh, you can get about £20,000 from watching Chainsaw 100's time lapses. 
So if we can get maybe 15,000 15, pounds worth of wood on here, then we're going in the right direction. And of course, because we have bought it, we don't have to worry about profits again in the future. It'll be just 100% profit, with the exception of the diesel and maintenance. Here we are! Right, so this is the place which we are completely destroying currently. We have been taking trees down from here over the past few episodes, but it, they are our trees and they are making us quite a bit of money, even though it is sad to see them go. So we can plant more, I might put some more in in the future. Um, but yeah, it's, it's money for us. Go for the big trees first. That tree there is huge. Very big tree. Okay, so we'll go for a cut. I assume we can do with this tree. We can. It seems we can't go any lower than here, though. Now, hopefully, this is going to work. It usually does, yeah. A straight cut usually works. So that's good. Um, and no, we're not going to be loading these up by hand. We just need to cut them into probably three sections, into thirds, and then the tractor can do it. Now, as you've probably heard over my past few videos, if you've been watching, I've been missing uh, Follow Me and Cosplay, actually. And it turns out that a few viewers have been posting links to what on the surface would appear to be Cosplay for 19. However, I've looked at these links and I would advise not going on them. I would say uh, they're best avoided because somebody, in fact a number of people have been on these links, downloaded them and it turns out to be some strange text file. So I would be very careful if you're looking to get Cosplay. I don't think it's out for 19. Um, so yeah, just be uh, extra careful when looking for certain mods. Now, I did think I could get away with just positioning the trailer anywhere, but obviously it isn't in a good place at all. We have too many stumps everywhere. I, I don't know if these pieces that are just lying around we can sell. I don't really want to load them up at this stage, just in case I'm taking just some random object to the sell point, which isn't classed as a tree. Um, because it's very important that we get as much on here as possible. The last thing I want to do is carry around some useless object. So, yeah, I need to also change my key binding for the grab. One second. Done. Right, so it's on the keyboard, so you won't hear my mouse clicking continually. That even annoys me sometimes. So, yeah, that's much quieter. Um, it's how I had it set up in 17, so it's actually going to be much easier for me. I know exactly how to control it now. And I've just realised we don't have a rear weight, but it looks like we can get away without one. It is a fairly chunky tractor, and like I said before, we do have rear weights on the tyres, on the wheels. I don't know if they actually serve a purpose in the game. I don't know if they have a mass to them. Hopefully they do. It looks like they do, because we've picked up a fairly chunky thing here. A fairly chunky log. Oh, I've hit a stump. Yeah, that's not even a stump that I put there. I don't know if it's even possible to get rid of it. Oh, it is. Well, that makes it much easier. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Uh, so, I need to position this as carefully as possible. We have plenty to be putting on here. I'll strap as a go, because otherwise we're going to have some issues with that. Oh, that's annoying. So many of these things, I can't even reverse. Yeah, we're going to have to clear the site first. That should work. I just basically drove into it a second ago, and it stopped the tractor dead. Yep, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to continue here, and we'll get as much done as possible. I'll take it over to the mill the sawmill, and we'll be able to get, hopefully, a good chunk of money. Now, the other thing which I was talking about, which I haven't really uh, elaborated on, is the horse paddock. I would like to get some horses, because apparently, if you fully train a horse, you can get about £50,000, which sounds really decent. I don't know how long it would actually take to do that, um, but it's certainly something to consider. It's all going to come down to the price of the paddock. I should probably take a look. Horse paddock, 50... Ah, that's alright. 50,000? You can keep eight horses in here? Yeah, that's fine. I think we'll do that very soon. Once we've sold the wood, I'll look into it. Now, some of you might say, what? You're spending your money on a horse? If it's 50,000 pounds, that is actually a good amount of money to get in. The horse will cost money. The paddock costs money. But if we do several over a, 
a longer period of time, it could be a very, very good thing to do. Tree number two. Straight cuts usually work the best. Yep. Almost guaranteed to fall, but not totally. Whoa, it's like a magic wand. Yeah, I've discovered that these pieces here you can't even cut up, so I said there's no point in taking them. I think the stumps would sell. We cut it with a chainsaw, so I can't really see any reason why it wouldn't do. Uh, so I'll put that on there, but we are still loading up. Uh, we have no more logs here. I need to cut another tree down. Um, if we go for one more big tree, try and fit it on. Should fit on. We're doing all right. Um, so I don't know how much we have here, how much money. But I would say... £5,000 worth of wood here? Not sure though, because I think the longer you leave them, the more they're worth. Here's the final tree. It is a big tree. It's very big. Here it goes. Yes, timber! Oh, yeah. Just about cleared the hut and the trailer. Once again I'll sort it out, we'll get it loaded up, and then we're going to head over there. Should be the right length. I think that's going to do it. That is fully loaded, and one of those is so heavy. Obviously not the uh, the pencil which we're currently putting on. Uh, that could be quite tricky to put on there though. Uh, if I can try and get it to perch on the edge. Hmm. Throw a strap around it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> right. So it's done. Uh, it's turned out to be a very good load. It must be so heavy. This massive trunk on the top. And we do have that piece of wood there. Try and somehow fit it in. Good. Okay, so yeah, we'll reattach and head over to the sawmill. I've just remembered though, uh, when I saw Chains of 100 doing this, I realised that he might have been on easy, or on the uh, farm worker difficulty, I'm not too sure. So the prices might have been higher. There we go. Is that cuttable? Nope. Okay, so let's head off. is precarious. This means going up the really steep hill, but as we now have more horsepower, it shouldn't be too bad. This one is 145 horsepower. I think the uh, the new Holland which we used before is about 99 horsepower. Yeah, about 99. Probably about 100. Uh, so, yeah, I think it is exactly 99. Um, so we do have the extra boost. We have another 45 horsepower or so, which should be very helpful. Oh, a stop sign. I better run over it. I tend to. I try not to. Good. Yeah, it comes naturally to me anyway to knock down the stop signs. The big climb is almost over. Yeah, it was still pretty heavy. Uh, we were going, I think we got down to about 8 miles an hour, which was fairly slow, but we're picking up speed now. 14 miles per hour, 15, and the sell point is just over there. So, all we have to do is park it in the trigger, as you've probably seen by now, or experienced it yourself, and then we just go over to the box and say, here you go, we have some wood, and then they say, oh yes, you have got some wood, here's some money. One thing I really like about this tractor is that the beacons don't flash at exactly the same time. I've noticed that on other tractors in the game, they, they're always just perfectly in sync, which might happen, I suppose, but whenever I've seen Joy Beacons in real life, they don't flash perfectly together. Um, so yeah, that's good. Anyway, yeah, here we are. The trailer has arrived with a good load of wood. How much do you think we have here, then? I think there's going to be around £15,000. Might be optimistic, it might be close to ten, but that's just my figure, so... Uh... That didn't work. I need to, yeah, take them off. That might be better. We'll see if this works. There we go. 10,448. Still a very good price, but we haven't profited. Uh, we have almost paid for the trailer and the log grab, but that's not bad. We have loads more trees to go at in the future. So 
I'll probably start off in a few episodes time with a, a load all ready to go and then we can just come up here and I can say look we're only 30 seconds into the video and we've made another 10,000 pounds I think you have to admit though we are very slowly but surely making money uh, we, we were going for quite a long time actually in the series with only about 55,000 pounds now we're at 130 so it's not all bad yeah I was thinking we could turn left there but no he goes to some other building right so down to the farm we need to figure out whether or not we should get a paddock hopefully we can do I think it is going to be quite a good money maker but it's a long term money maker nothing overnight the alternative is to get chickens but then the chicken coop is so overpriced so I don't know yeah I mentioned a few videos back that I didn't like the prices of the uh, livestock pens but as it's been pointed out it's a very good price for the pig enclosure we've got buildings and everything and for the cows we've got the milking parlour just here so I think it's a milking parlour somebody said it had a milking parlour anyway but the chickens, nah, <laughs> they're still overpriced. Everything else is okay. Overpriced. Let's take the fabulous trailer back over to the yard and find a nice parking place for it. That's the other thing we need too, the uh, collision camera mod. So here we are, back at the farm. We don't really have anywhere in particular to put it. I could put it behind the shed, that is a bit of wasted space. And we can use this trailer for pretty much anything. It's going to be a real money maker. Because we've got the uh, transporting jobs, which sometimes require you to transport two pallets at a time, uh, as I showed in my first video. But also we've got bales, our own liquid fertilizer, herbicide, seed, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, a really multi-purpose tool. Keep it here for the time being. Okay, good. Now, on to our little look into the horses. Now, I've never really been a, a massive fan of the horses, but if they do make money, it's going to be worth it. So if we go on to the £50,000 one, let's just take a look here. Requires oats, grass is it, and water. So we don't have any of those at the moment, so that is of course another price we have to factor into it, because uh, we have to get a water tank. Uh, Hmm. It's definitely something I want to do. Maybe not today then. It's 50,000. How much is a horse? <laughs> that is another consideration. I'm not too sure if we can look. We can. Alright. Um, okay, so we have 5,000 put onto the horses. We can choose anything for 5,000. So, yeah, they're pretty cheap. And if you can sell them for 50, if we had 8, if we've got 8 of these then, well, that is a lot of money. But we do have to, I think we have to train them uh, to make sure they are worth as much as they possibly can be. And I think we have to ride them daily. Yeah, here we go. So we've got the food requirements of hay and oats. Horses are trained and are sold for profit. You can earn up to 16 horses, each with its own name and fitness level. The higher the fitness level, the higher the value. Raise their fitness level by riding them uh, and when you buy a horse it's given a name automatically you can change its name in the animal menu so essentially all you have to do is feed them and ride them seems easy but if there's eight for example it's going to take quite a bit of time to ride them all definitely something i want to do but i think before we do that it's best to hear my audience's input not because i want to do exactly what my audience want me to do but mainly because uh, it's the the problem is the price if i go and <laughs> spend all of our money on horses and it turns out not to be a viable option um, yeah I'll have kind of backfired so if you've got experience with the horses since the game has been out for a week or so uh, it would be nice to hear I'd love to hear from you so yeah definitely something I want to consider possibly in the next episode we do also need to do some harvesting in the next episode although we could start yeah this foot here is ready to go I think we will do Turn the engine off. Start the harvester. There is Mr. Sniff. Seems to be very happy. Right, so I do need to do most of this myself without using a worker. That is where the money is. This is barley. So we should be able to get some straw off here. 
Looking good. Right, so yeah, I'm going to try and do the majority of the field. I know that it's not all harvested. This is the one field which I've messed up, so next time I'm going to do it properly. It'll be weed-free, totally fertilised, and it definitely will not be growing in different stages. That is the biggest problem I have with this field. There we go, so that is everything we can do, obviously there is a piece there which is ready to harvest but it's mixed in with the bit which isn't. So as it is uh, 5 to 6, I think it is about time we went to bed, yes it's a very early night, but we have actually done quite a bit within this day. Uh, there's been probably 3 or 4 episodes recorded on this virtual day, so yeah, I think we are due a rest. Oh yeah, and uh, that probably doesn't want to be running all night. So into our lovely home. Our fairly expensive lovely home. Yeah, just trying to fit through the door. There we are. Nice kitchen. So, to sleep we press R. Oh good. <laughs> After all that work that we've done, we're not tired. In that case, we'll just have to speed up time and allow the crop to grow faster. Now, increasing the time shouldn't mess up the other field, although I do need to be quite careful because we can't have it growing so fast that we can't apply the second application of... Uh, fertilizer. So yeah, I need to be quite careful here. Is that grown? No, not grown. Probably not today. It's all systems go in the workshop. Lit up like a Christmas tree. I can't see in. Who's in there? Seems to be locked. Well, I guess it's just going to have to wait until tomorrow. It's going to be too late to start. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Again, please do post all your suggestions. I'd love to hear them. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.